Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 8, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we are basically at the top here at the S&P 500. And it looks like we are about to roll over and head towards the middle of the Bullinger Band, which is at the moment around 3,971. So we're getting fairly overstretched. And these two candlesticks here are looking fairly exhausted. If you look at also the uh, technical indicators, we can see that the CCI is turning around. We're still in positive territory. Um, stochastic is also crossing the signal line and the MACD is basically starting to flatten out and so on. So this could take a few days, but we most likely will pull back towards the middle of the Bullinger Band before rallying. So it's buying, buying the dips in situation here. Break below the 20 exponential, opposite door to the 50 down here at 3,903. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones um, has started to fall. This is what I expect for to happen for the S&P 500 and probably also the Nasdaq is that we are basically getting way ahead of ourselves, getting to the top of the bullish band, and now we're pulling back slightly before going higher. It We are still in this uh, basically nice uptrend and uh, target will mostly be 40, 43,000. At the moment, we need to basically pull back towards the middle. Uh, we could rally from here, but that only means that we'll get even further outside of the bullish band, and then we'll basically have a bigger drop after that. We can look at technical indicators. We can see the MACD is pulling back, the CCI, stochastic is pulling back, CCI is pulling back, and so is the RSI. So everything is pointing towards a uh, pullback um, towards probably the middle of the bullish band, which also is the previous highs here before we go higher. So let's look at the Nasdaq. So the Nasdaq as well, it's uh, fairly more resilient. Um, we went way outside of the, uh, of the Bollinger Band here on, I think it was on Monday. And on Tuesday, we were basically uh, going back and forward. And now uh, yet again on Wednesday, we're rallying a little bit, but we are, it's really choppy and there's not a lot of momentum to the upside at this current stage. We have a crossing here of the 20 and the 50 moving average, which is a very bullish sign. We can see basically what happened last time and we crossed of the 20 and the 50. We got this really nice channel here and we also broke down here when we basically crossed again and now we're having another crossing here. So technical indicators, otherwise our uh, MACD is bullish. And stochastic is flat, the CCI is still in uh, bullish territory, but it's turning around. And um, our RSI is uh, fairly high at 63, but is flat at this current stage. So pullbacks will most likely find a major support down here at 30, uh, 13,200, give or take. And uh, a break below that will open the door all the way down to the very bottom of the bullish band here at 12,600, which is, well, looks at this current stage. Uh, very far off. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX um, also went way outside of the bullish band yesterday and now we're slightly uh, turning uh, around. So we'll probably find quite a lot of support down here at 15,000, but the middle of the bullish band at the 14,755 should offer quite a lot of significant support. Break below this level, though, we can drop all the way down to the 50 moving average down here at 14,260. So technical indicators, they are turning around. We have had a major rally here in the in the DAX, but uh, we are getting fairly overhead of uh, we're fairly overstretched here. Uh, you can see, and we're also significantly overbought. So we're almost at 80 in um in the sea and usually that is a massive warning that this is very overbought so technical indicators are turning around macd is still bullish stochastic has crossed the signal line and uh, cci is still above 100 but it's turning around and becoming bearish at this point but this is a buying on the dips uh, um, as well as this most likely will head towards 16,000 within the next few weeks so let's look at the uk 100 so UK 100 has rallied and is trading at uh, way above the bullish band and is trading at uh, 6,894. 
So a massive rally today, up nearly 1%. And the technical indicators are also showing they are very bullish at this point, but we are getting way ahead of ourselves. It doesn't mean that we're going to break down significantly, but we can see what basically happened here when we got way outside of the bullish band. We fell way below the bottom of the bullish band. This is a massive drop. The same goes for here and same here and so on. So historical patterns show that when this gets overstretched, uh, we tend it tends to basically to uh, drop significantly below. Um, the 50 moving average in some cases and towards the bottom of the bullish band. So we um, this is a nice run, but at this current stage, it is expected for a pullback before going higher. So I've included the Chinese uh, China 50 as well. Um, so this indice has um, been struggling the last um, basically month and a half. We reached um, a very highs here of 20,500 and 26 give or take and then basically fell apart so it went all the way down towards the bottom of the bullish band and the 200 moving average it rallied uh, in the recent weeks but again now again it fell more than two percent yet again today so it looks like we're heading back towards these uh, very low here at 16 16,663 technical indicators are very bearish for this indice macd, MACD is still in negative territory um, uh, nearly crossing the signal line, Stochastic has crossed the signal line, CCI is in negative territory now, heading towards minus 100, and the RSI is also in negative at this point. So it'll be interesting whether or not we get towards the 200 moving average and can get a rally from there, but otherwise this has been absolutely hammered in the last month and a half. So I hope you find this helpful, you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below, good luck and thank you very much.